Whether you've been in your home for 30 years or you just moved into a brand new home, today I'm gonna help you fall in love with your home. Social media can be a great thing and can be a really bad thing because social media does not want you to be content with what you have. They want you to get more and more and more. And so sometimes I feel like we have magazine syndrome. If you guys have heard of that, it's where we get very dissatisfied with our homes and our lives because we see these things and we're like, why does my home not look like that? So that is part of the reason that people struggle with falling in love with their homes. But today I'm gonna give you some great suggestions on how you can fall in love with your home and stay in love with it. So many times designers wanna tell you that you shouldn't hang family photos in your home, that art is for the walls and photos are for frames on the table. That is lovely if that you want to do that. But one of the ways that you can really fall in love with your home is to display what you love. For me, I can't adopt the idea of not having my family hanging around. I even have a doggy photo gallery that hangs in my home because that is what brings me joy. So instead of having the idea of having a perfect cookie cutter Pinterest home, one of the things I want you to do is display what you love. Do you have that tea collection? Do you have that old book collection? Maybe you collect quilts. Maybe you collect candlesticks or globes, any kind of thing. Whatever you cherish is what you're going to love and what's going to make you feel comfortable in your home. So I want you to surround yourself with things that you love and you enjoy looking at. Another way to really love your home is to individualize it. No two homes want to be the same. So what works best for you? Maybe you're like an avid book reader and you want to create like a cozy little reading nook. Or maybe you're a plant lover and you want to create a space where you can put all your plants and enjoy them. A really great suggestion is start off with the room that you use the most. Come into that room, mine is my living room. Me and my husband and Jason are in the living room a lot. And so walk into that room that you use the most and, and what is a couple words to describe how that room makes you feel when you walk in? I know this sounds cheesy, but when I walk into my room, uh, if I wanted to say something positive, this room kind of makes me feel inspired because I can see the vision where it's going. But it also makes me feel uncomfortable because I'm not comfortable in our furniture. For me in here, I personally did not like how on the sides of the windows, I had two different things. Some people hate symmetry, some people love it. For me, it's pleasing to the eye. I sometimes get people who are like, oh, that's boring. And that's okay, that's for you. If you want eclectic things and that kind of thing, I love that. But for me, I, I really wanted to walk into the room and I wanted it to be the same on each side. So I did something about it and I saved up and I got these two mirrors that Jason is hanging here for me and I matched it on each side. That is something that makes me feel happy, comfortable, and absolutely love my home when I walk into the room and I see something I really like. Another way to love your home is to indulge in things you love. Maybe you're the kind of person who likes to buy fresh flowers at the store. Maybe you love to have fresh fruit sitting on your counter or really neat baked breads from a bakery. For me, my indulgence is I really love setting tables and I have a complete obsession with napkins and napkin rings. And so it's something that I know that I use and something that I know that I love. Figuring out what makes you smile in your home is what's really gonna make you happy. I love setting a table for even just sometimes me and Jason or if I have just even my daughter and my son-in-law all over. I love just using fun little plates and napkins and napkin rings. That's something I love. Maybe for you it's like, buying a special cake from a bakery each week. Maybe it's a favorite candle lit in the evening. Anything like that can really just make you feel at home and warm and cozy and most of all make you smile. Okay, so this might seem like a really weird camera angle, 
but I'm actually showing you several things in this room right now that will help you fall in love with your home. I'm showing you lighting and I'm showing you different sources. Nobody is gonna fall in love with their home if it's dark and dreary. So right off the bat, natural light is one of the best ways to really just feel, I love it. I don't even know how to describe how it makes me feel, but I love when it's sunny and I have my blinds open and natural lights pouring in. It really does make the space seem more inviting, welcoming, and I just enjoy spending time in that room. Also, I'm showing you that I have an overhead light up here, so I have my chandelier, and then I have a couple different options of floor, or not floor lamps, Blech. floor lamps are great, but I have table lamps in here. I also, in this room, have can lighting over here and two more lamps over here. So I'm really, really, really able to achieve the ambiance that I want for whatever I'm doing, whether I'm hosting a big party and I need all the lights on, or it's me and Jason watching a spooky movie at night and we just want to have one little lamp on. Having the right lighting in your home will definitely make a huge difference and can really help you decide whether or not you love your home or you don't. Many of you that follow along know exactly where I'm at. I'm in my attic that we made over so I would have proper storage for all of my decor. I already have a problem in here. It's been, I think I got this done in February. And so it is September at the time that I'm filming this. My attic is already getting over full and I'm getting frustrated by it. This is one of the things that you can change about your home in order to love it. You need to edit what you bring into your home. For me, I have to bring a lot of home decor items and stuff like that in here to make decorating videos for you. But I also need to make sure that I have the right balance between what I'm keeping and what I'm getting rid of. So as you can see over here, let's go over here. Look at this side. So these were the end tables that were in my spare bedroom. And part of me is like, oh, maybe I'll hang on to them. I might need them for somewhere else. Deciding what you're going to keep and what you don't keep can really make a difference on whether or not you feel happy. I'm starting to not feel happy when I walk in here because of what I've done to this side of my room right now. So I've decided that, you know what? These could be put on Facebook Marketplace. Right now, I currently have lamps that are sitting in here that used to be downstairs that I don't believe that I'm going to use anymore. I'm going to go ahead and put those on there also. And I just need to come in here and kind of go through everything. So that's definitely one of the things that you need to do is walk around your home, take a bag. Are there things that you can get rid of because clutter is never going to make you feel comfortable. Clutter is never going to make you feel homey. If you get rid of the things that you don't love in your home, then it leaves room for the things that you do love to shine through. Maybe you've been too afraid to make that commitment and put artwork on your walls, but I can guarantee if you add artwork to your walls, it's going to make it feel more like your home. You could do a combination of like artwork and family photos, kind of like we talked about earlier about displaying what you love or go to a thrift store if you don't have a lot of money and see if there's anything that you can find that could just be really cool for your walls. Also, if you have artwork and it's just not feeling great, maybe move your artwork around your home. Take a piece out of your bedroom, put it in your living room, vice versa. That's a great way to kind of refresh the space at no cost. So I definitely suggest artwork to really just kind of make your home feel cozy and make it yours. Something that I want you to do is I want you to make a list of goals for this next year. I'm down here in my basement, and if you watch my other videos, you know that a goal of mine is to, oh, look at these yellow walls. Do I need to say more? So a huge goal of mine is to paint down here. Actually, I don't know what the purpose is of this room. I'm going to figure this out. Sit down with a nice cup of tea, make yourself a list, but make yourself a list of doable things, things that you can check off, and maybe you have one harder project or something on there. <laughs> Mine's my garage. But anyway, we'll get to that. So, so make yourself goals and that will help you achieve what you're wanting to do in your home to make you feel good and to make you love it. Waiting on perfection or doing nothing is never gonna help you love your home. 
I want you to paint the room. I want you to declutter. I want you to put out your family photos that you love. I want you to add in the things that you know are gonna make you happy, bring you joy, and make you smile. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I really enjoy bringing you these types of videos. Let me know in the comments down below if you enjoy these types of videos. Hit the like button and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. And I promise that's gonna help you love the home that you're in. I sound like I'm doing an infomercial. Somebody told me I'd be a great QVC host. I hate when my voice starts doing this. <laughs>